how to make this rig. Let's start with constraint. Our goal is to make the shoulder bone rotate according to the position of the controller bone. To add constraint to the shoulder bone, select the target bone first and then select shoulder bone. Now press Ctrl Shift C and select transformation constraint. Select local with parent for target and local for owner. Now we need to transform the positional change of target bone to the rotation of owner bone. Owner is moving in its Z axis, so we need to give values for Z location in map for menu. If the location of the target bone is in between the min and max value, the constraint get triggered. Give values according to your model. Map to option is what the action triggered by the constraint. Here the action is to rotate the shoulder bone in its Z axis. For that select rotation and set the corresponding mapped axis, which is Z in this case, and give the min and max rotation angles. Now you can test the rig. And feel free to adjust the values according to your needs. There is an option in the constraint to extrapolate the values rather than limiting it to the min-max values, which will continue the motion until the controller bone is stoked moving. You can copy the constraint from one bone to another. First select the targeted bone, then select the bone with constraint, then come to constraint settings and select copy to selected. Well done, you have set up transformation constraint successfully, now it's a matter of adjusting the values according to your needs. Now you know 